Uh, good morning everybody, uh, just uh, an update on this uh, LTO battery bank that I'm doing. Uh, this is the BMS boards that I've actually uh, been populating uh, because it's um, 22S which means I need 22 um, boards, one for each of the uh, battery uh, cell banks and a controller. Uh, I've only just arrived a couple of days ago, the printed circuit boards. When you get the printed circuit boards, they actually, uh, you, they're not totally complete, but they're probably 95%. The only thing you got to put on there is the little header pins, and also where you see that AT uh, Tiny 841, you've actually got to buy that separately and solder the, um, the AT Tiny microprocessor uh, onto the boards. I find that when you do the AT Tiny soldering on the micro processor, uh, I use a bit of solder paste on a syringe, as you can see, a little syringe there. And the best idea is to just put a little bit of solder paste on on the first pad, and use just an ordinary uh, cordless soldering iron, which is all I'm doing is a little Ryobi cordless soldering iron uh, with a nice fine tip. I I did a little bit of fold filing to make it a bit more uh, pointy and I put a bit of paste on one pin and then I actually um, put the uh, put the uh, the um, a microprocessor and solder one pin make sure it's all right then what I do then with the little syringe I put a little dab on each one of the legs of the the um, AT tiny and then with the soldering iron I only just got to basically dab that solder paste on on where I've actually dabbed on each terminal and it solders quite well. You can see I put the uh, the header pins on there for uh, for programming and also um, the little um, ports for the uh, for the communication port. Uh, I've just got to make up a little holding point uh, to hold all these little boards. One of the best things is a little tiny, um, um, yeah, magnifying piece to be able to solder. Um, at my age, my eyes are getting a bit, uh, bit gone, but uh, I think at any age, they're the, one of the best things you can ever buy. Yeah, this is the programming that I'm using to program each one of those AT Tiny 841s get programmed. Um, yeah, you can see there, uh, it says of actually uh, successfully uploaded the program into each one of those um, 22 boards now with these uh, boards um, I've got them specially done for the LTO um, cell voltage as you can see I'll try and zoom in a little bit more but this resistor bank um, I've actually used a, a totally uh, different value which is 2.55 ohms um, because that ohmage is very important to actually uh, dissipate the, um, the, over, the over current, if you want to call it, out of each battery bank. I think the original ones was like um, 6.8 ohms or something rather, but I've actually had to drop the ohmage to be able to make sure these balance boards do the best um, uh, dissipation of current yeah just got to remember that these are actually LTOs if they were actually the 4.2 voltage they'd be 6.8 ohms that whole uh, battery bank yeah so uh, I'll keep you a bit more updated as I uh, get all these mounted up and the cabling and stuff like that you can actually see the controller board uh, there uh, so you only need one controller board per bank